Loading, loading, strap got the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling Pushing on, keep rolling, rolling Hello when I listen but I told him, told him One more time, your favourite MC's bonds are silver These vibes here are golden, golden Cards on the table, there's no folding Spit bars at the club, zoning, zoning TikTok come to London, they get ripped off Man get pissed off when I start lift off Sweet like flavours, cookie and biscuit Fronty, yeah, the bars I get ripped off Picked up myself, yo, every time I tripped up Little petty the they big rock Me and my D's do everything mix up Full circle, not everybody in top That's irrelevant, maybe like an elephant Keep your heart, but you know that it's elegant. Get mad, but always benevolent. Always moving up, just leveling. Constantly telling and rhyming, bridging. Cycle through these streets, I'm pedaling. Hibernating and boom, she's back again. Oh, cause a little fire on the track again. Turn the music up, vibe like an icon. Icon, icon, yeah. If you want buff, we can go psycho. Psycho, psycho. Head to head, bout to bout, turn the mic on. Mic on, mic on. Turn the music up, vibe like an icon. Icon, icon. Yeah, I don't mind, I'll do it for the hell of it, yeah Elevate bars, I regulate, yeah UK, wheel up the tune, just meditate If it didn't get a by now, then you're kinda late Man, fix is a bad man, but it's Alright guys, welcome back to a new video And welcome to a new vlog series First of all, cheers to me I'm having a drink on a Monday night Because I can, and I'm no longer in prep And we're celebrating the off season 40 weeks of dieting I do not recommend I do not recommend, 10 out of 10, do not recommend doing back-to-back -back dieting. But I did it, nonetheless, with pretty good results. And we'll talk about that in a second. Let me have a sip, and then we'll get into the video properly. I'm undecided about what to call this series. Um, and I've been kind of undecided about what I wanted to do in general, in terms of like my preparations and all of that. Obviously, I'm not looking to compete anytime soon. I need an off season because I, I was the last month was very hard. When I say I had no energy, I literally don't know how I did the last month or how I lived life or did anything at all. Oh, my, 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 my cats and dog are playing. My cats and dog are playing. That's the noise you can hear. But it's done now. Uh, I'm not eating a lot more food than I was, a little bit more. Which I'm actually filming a full day of eating today. You'll see the full day of eating in a, in a few days. I'm reverse dieting. I'm not looking to put on 50 pounds of fat or water retention. I'm doing uh, a reverse basically. So what that means is that slowly my calories are being increased. I'm not doing the post-workout cardio. And um, yeah, just try and restore my hormones or my health as much as possible which is definitely something that is uh one of the biggest priorities of mine is to make sure that i get hormonally healthy so i will probably book myself in for a gyno appointment to get everything checked out again with the scans and stuff just to see what's what's going on with my um uh uter endometrial wall that's it See if that's starting to return. Uh, I'm not on any performance enhancers, any fat burners, or anything like that right now. So hopefully, um, towards Christmas time, if I book in for an appointment, then by that time another month will have passed, and I would have been six weeks post show, something like that. Hopefully, that means that my hormones are starting to recover more, and I would have gained a bit more body fat as well. Uh, the thing is, when you do a reverse slowly, you do it properly, like you don't really gain that much body fat, but um, I was like 71 kilos this morning. I've been sitting around 71, 72 since my show. I competed around 70, so I've get, I'm up between two to four pounds, depending on sleep, training, digestion, etc., 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 stress. So, um, whilst I am single, I am, and I, I'm still concerned about the fact that I'm not at all able to have children right now. Uh, not that it matters right now, but just in general, I'm just curious to see how that will progress because it was kind of scary to hear that I couldn't, even if I wanted to. I knew it would be hard, but to be told that it was physically impossible, it was more of a shock than I thought it would be. Because it's one of those things where you hear it and you're like, oh, it's not a problem. It's like, it probably is like that, but it's going to be hard. But to be physically, to be told it's like physically impossible, it's not... Yeah, I didn't actually expect to hear that. So that was a little bit shocking. So that's definitely something I want to keep an eye on. So I want that to be part of my off-season journey. So I will probably book in with um, garden appointments maybe every month or every six weeks or something like that just to keep these checks done, 
keep an eye on how everything's progressing and how things are looking because I think it's interesting, first of all. And also I think it is important because I do want to um, just get hormonally as healthy as possible. I, I was also talking to my coach about what's next because I do like to have goals. I'm very goal orientated. I like to have something to work towards. And the thing is, is that like, I can't see myself as a pro physique competitor because I just don't want to get that muscular. Like I, the girl that, the, the girl, the woman, the lady that won my category, she actually placed fourth in the pro show. So while she wants to get to, the reason she won two categories, my coach actually did ask for the feedback on the judges. The reason she won both categories is because of the fact that she was basically the best for bodybuilding and but in reality, she's not bodybuilding big. She's physique big. That just to put that into her perspective, she went on to place fourth in a pro show the next day. So that is the kind of muscle density and size that they're looking for, for women's physique. I'm not anywhere near that, and I'm not under the illusion that I am. And I don't want to become that muscular. I don't want to get that big in my upper body. I appreciate it. Hats off. I can um, recognize the hard work and, you know, I can appreciate it for what it is, but as for what I like for myself and my preferred aesthetics and how I feel comfortable in my body and what I find sexy, for me it's too much in terms of muscularity. We all have our levels. I know that I'm already too much for many people and that's fine. I'm still okay with myself and that's that's all that matters. Um, so I was saying like, well, what about if I did figure? And he said, well, that's kind of the plan. So basically, what he wants me to do is he wants me to be turned pro as physique because it's easier to become pro on an entry level physique. But because of the fact that I'm already built and I already have the size, for me to then become a f to then compete at figure on the pro level makes more sense. Uh, it'll be easier for me to get a pro card in physique and to then go to figure pro because I will already just be the right size. Uh, from what I can see, the only thing that needs work is my shoulders. I need a bit more size on my shoulders. They're big, but they need to be a little bit bigger and I need some more width through my upper lats. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay to build on that. Like, I don't mind having bigger shoulders and bigger, slightly bigger lats. What I don't want is I just don't want bigger arms. Uh, I think that takes, that makes the physique more, more masculine. Shoulders can do, but like shoulders, you can dress it up. The, you know, like it's one of those things you kind of hide it a bit better. So. I guess that's the plan. For now, the plan is to reverse the diet, look to compete again, maybe. It depends, <laughs> it depends on if I'm single or not. It depends on if I meet somebody, because I, ideally I would like to have children, but also I did turn 37 a couple of weeks ago, so... It's more likely than not gonna happen, for, not gonna happen for me. And I know that people and I know that women have children at an older age, and it happens. Um, up to the age of 40 is kind of like you're okay-ish, okay-ish. Uh, I was talking to my, guy, my doctor about it. After 40, the reality of miscarriage and complications, it just, it just is increased, and I'm very well aware of that fact. So I do have a few years left, but, uh, you know, it's... Dating isn't easy. <laughs> and it's, you know... Just just finding somebody that's compatible, let's say. It's a struggle in itself, but we'll see. For now, I, I have no interest in dating <laughs> at all, actually. Um, I just want to focus on myself, focus on my health, focus on my dogs. Um, they are actually going in tomorrow for a for their, for their spaying. So that's going to be something that I'm going to focus on for the next couple of weeks. Pay some attention to my friends because they've been severely neglected. Um, I should be vlogging with George soon. Uh, there's another guy... I probably won't vlog with him, but he's um, a German bodybuilder and his girlfriend. Uh, she wants to start training with me. Not like for coaching, but for training for fun sometimes. So it'll be nice to just like meet some new people. Uh, Lucy will be coming around. We'll be going for hikes and doing training footage. Uh, Lucy obviously is going through her off season too. In general, just, you know, enjoy life, live life a bit more. That is the plan for now. But what I'll start doing is I won't do the weekly vlogs because it's just a lot of work. I'd rather just do a couple of... Uh, what I eat in the days in the week that are more like day in the lives eat in the days I think I can do those maybe two or three times a week and then I'm also contemplating doing vlogmas but not in the traditional sense where I'm vlogging every day but maybe one day is a vlog maybe one day is some training maybe one day is a recipe maybe one day is like I show you how to do like my fitness pal um, but I'm not 100% sure if I will I might do it I might not 
I might start it and I might cancel it. Uh, it's not something that, I, if I feel like it's stressing me out too much, I won't. But at the same time, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, obviously, I need to focus on my clients and take on some new clients, keep myself busy with that. So there's a lot of things that I want to focus on, just enjoy training again. But at the same time, you know, more and most important, just get, get my health back and just get back to a place where I'm a, a functional human being, basically. So, that'll be it for now. I will have inserted some footage of me posing in figure, so you can see what that's like. And uh, yeah, here's just some b-roll footage to end the video of some Romania footage. I didn't vlog a lot in Romania at all. I had the intention, but honestly, when we were there the last few days after the show, we didn't do an awful lot. We went out for dinner a few times. And for the most part, we sit at home, went training a few times, but I didn't film. I just didn't vlog a lot, because we didn't do an awful lot. The weather wasn't great. Um, you know, Romania is expensive. Especially when you pay for somebody else. But yeah, it just didn't turn out really to be that exciting. So there wasn't really anything to vlog. But there's, here's a little bit of B-roll footage. And uh, yeah, over the next few days, you'll get a full day of eating. So you can see how I do a reverse, how I still enjoy foods in moderation, things like this. Choc like a bit of chocolate here and there, you know, like I'll just show you how I take my, my plan from my, from my coach and how I kind of adapt it to suit my off-season needs without actually gaining too much body fat. As you can see in the footage that was in earlier, like I'm still really lean. So, and then it's only been a week and a half since show, but people put on a lot of weight post show. It's, it's quite normal that people go a bit crazy with food and I haven't actually. I did have a few off-plan meals in Romania, but I'm not really um, a cheap mealy sort of person. I'm actually meeting Felika. I'm saying this. I'm meeting Felika for a meal tomorrow. But I'm not. Um, I'm not a fast food person, and I'm not a massive dessert person. Um, so usually speaking, for me, I'm more like I like to incorporate little things here. Like I'd rather have a little bit of cheese in the day, a glass of wine, a choc like a little bit of chocolate. So I'd rather have like a little thing here and there than have like really big fuck of meals. And I think this is why I'm able to manage it because I'll have one thing instead of the other. So for example, I can't quite eat rice yet. <laughs> I'm a bit riced out after the prep. My, my carbs are coming from <laughs> wine, uh, chocolate bars, little bits of chocolate, like a cookie here and there. Uh, things like carrots, I really like carrots. Things like kimchi. There's things that I like to eat that are carbs, that are fruits. That aren't that isn't rice. So at the moment, that's kind of what I've been doing. It's like I've not been eating rice because <laughs> I can't bring myself to eat rice quite yet. Cream of rice I can eat, no problem. But rice, rice, I'm 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 rice out <laughs> for, for maybe another couple of weeks. We'll see. But anyway, this is indeed the end of the video. Uh, I will keep you all updated on my health. I'll start doing some blood tests as well, probably in December. I think my coach will want me to do them. And for now, the focus is on getting healthy. Getting a, bit, a little bit bigger, staying strong, and uh, focus on myself for a while. So cheers, guys. We'll see when we when, when, when the itch becomes too strong, and I will be competing again. <laughs> Probably next summer, I guess. Until then, improvement season.